science. A lot, if you want to really, really, really become cutting edge at whatever you're cutting edge at, if you truly wish to go beyond the muck of doubt and equality and inequality and other people thinking this and that of you, if you truly wish to rise above all that, not in a bad, arrogant way, but just rise above all that. If you truly wish to set yourself free and live in the realm of your chosen thought, in your chosen reality, your chosen frequency, you have to come up with a lot of courage. You have to come up with a lot of bravery. You have to dare to just know. You have to let go of physical evidence because physical evidence is the result of your knowingness, your choice, your conviction. If you don't choose your conviction first, the evidence will not change. The people in it will not change. The scientists in it will not change. You will never read an article that confirms what you intuited because you're not choosing your intuition before you read about the evidence. As it goes to all aspects of your life, if you wish to see confirmation of what you know, intuit, and hope to be true, then trust in your hope until that hope is knowledge and that knowledge or conviction is then the word that defines your reality. And then suddenly there's proof for it all around you. And at some point you don't need physical proof anymore because you just know that creation does not have one reality and that everything else is just imagination. You know that every created reality is another portion of imagination, equally valid to any other reality. So the question no longer is, am I delusional or not? The knowledge is, I am delusional. And so is everybody else. That is how consciousness creates different alternate parallel realities that are all equally valid expressions of infinity. It is by inserting delusion into every portion of its consciousness. The dream is one big illusion. We're all delusional creators. There is no one solid reality we all agree upon. There is no one Newtonian truth. There is no one scientific reason or reasoning. There is none of these. So you have to be willing to realize that you're the creator of the entire universe you're experience. And then at some point, you'll be lifted completely beyond the realm of, is this true or not? I'm not sure. I'm doubting what I intuit because it's never been shown in science now. It's never been explained by some PhD sheep that followed the educational system. There's none of that. There's no need for confirmation outside of yourself. You have to take that bravery. You have to be willing to be delusional, at least be willing to be delusional for a moment and see that I'm actually just free. And this reality shapes itself according to my convictions. Once you start tasting of that, you know that that is the objective truth that is true for everyone. But then certain beings think that that's not true for everyone. And what is true is what we perceive. But what we perceive is the tail end of our creation. And our creation is everything we see. And our creation is originating in our state of being, our conviction, where we place our energy, our intention, our focus, our self-belief. So you have to be willing to let go of circumstances dictating what's real or not for you so that you can start shaping creation effortlessly, beautifully, joyfully in service of love and light. Because that is what aligns you and that's what accelerates you. And that is what for you generates more and more heaven on earth. I'm the happiest mother. I know. And I'm 26 years old. And not, that's not a thought I conjure up a lot. But sometimes people ask, you're so young and you generate so fast. Well, how do I do that? It's by following my own teachings. By not caring about the outside world. By not waiting for other people to agree with who I am. Simple, right? Don't wait for other people to agree on who you are. The fact that you desire to be who you are is the highest authorities, your higher selves, permission slip to act in that way, to be in that way with integrity and love and respect, of course. But that's not difficult. That's not two different things. In fact, you're lacking the integrity and respect if you don't have the integrity and respect to honor your higher selves impulses. So you say that everything that happens in my life is by choice of my higher self and you as a state of being, as a response. You can, it can only manifest for you whatever you are able to receive from it. So it's a combination of what's relevant for you, what is inspired to you by your higher self and how you respond to that, receive that and act on that in terms of your vibrational attitude and the actions that follow out of that. The confidence, in other words. Always be the most confident person in the room, again, as an exercise. It's not about whether that's true or not. It's not about comparison. It's just as an exercise. You're in a room right now. Are you the most confident being in here? Are you more confident than I am? Yes, that is the only answer. That should be valid. That's how you should leave this door. I am so much more confident than Bentinho that I don't need him, that I don't need this meeting if I don't want to, if it doesn't resonate. I don't need anything from, I'm so confident that I know that everyone here is my child, begging for love and affection and approval. It's another way of saying always be the parent of the circumstance. 
Don't be the child, unless, of course, for a moment you want to be the child. That's completely fine. But as you raise your confidence frequency, you will start to feel that, oh, wait a second, these other beings don't actually know what they're talking about better than I do know who I am and what is true and how life works. I have full access to that. But when you tune, when you're constantly in the automatic mode of others know better than I do and there's outside authority and I have to wait for them to agree with me and teach me something, then you're never going to move as fast as, for example, I tend to move because you're not choosing to be the most confident being of your reality.